Hi, I'm Kathy Roser. I'm from Dolorica, Massachusetts, uh, class of 76. Um, I know that's a long time ago, 37 years to be exact, we've been doing this. Um, we have a great time doing it. We've added people, we've deleted people, but mostly we've added people, especially our children and their friends and their children's friends' parents. Have you been tailgating for 37 years? Absolutely, 37 years. At one point we were even um, on the copy of the ticket application. Uh, we were featured as a group. Um, I have to dig that out. I don't have it today. But we looked pretty darn good. We were pretty young, actually, at the time. So we're a little older, wiser, but still having a grand time. Have you always been in the same spot over here? No, we've had various spots. We go back to the old days when you could just drive into the campus and just plunk your little hibachi down. Back to the hibachi days. What keeps you bring, coming coming back every year? Uh, we have a lot of fun. We got you know we come out on a Saturday and a Sunday and uh, have a bloody mirror, a screwdriver, and some food. Great food. <laughs> Any games you're looking forward to this year? Notre Dame. <laughs> surrounding Parents Weekend and the Eagles' first ACC matchup, they unfortunately fell to Virginia Tech 19-0 in their first loss of the season. It is the first time that a team has shut out BC in 12 years. The defense put in a great effort with a combined 69 tackles on the day. Mark Herzlick was the defensive player of the game with one interception and seven tackles. Luke Keekley also added to the effort with 16 tackles on the day. Although the offense was unable to put any points on the board, Montel Harris did stand out with 19 carries for 111 yards. The Eagles will look to bounce back next week as they will play big rival Notre Dame right here at Alumni Stadium, 8 p.m. It's going to be a great matchup. Oh,